Today, we have some shocking news about Kim Kardashian. She is in legal trouble after an organization slapped her with a lawsuit. Let's get into the specifics. Whether it's managing her well-known social media accounts, building her multi-billion dollar Skims brand, or pursuing her dream of becoming a major motion picture star, Kim Kardashian constantly seems to be going a million miles an hour. But the reality star is sure to cause a stir because she has so many investments out there. On the 27th of March, Kim Kardashian was sued by the Judd Foundation, a nonprofit organization devoted to upholding Donald Judd's reputation and body of work in federal court in California. The celebrity was sued for allegedly showing fake replicas of the late artist's works on a YouTube tour of her SKKN by Kim offices while misrepresenting the furnishings as authentic. The Kardashian star hired Clements Design, according to the lawsuit, to decorate her offices. After that, Clements supposedly created a proposal by fabricating copies of the items using Judd Foundation pictures that were protected by copyright. The lawsuit says the knockoff furniture was subsequently installed into Miss Kardashian's SKKN by Kim office. Miss Kardashian promoted the fake furniture and her association with Mr. Judd and Donald Judd furniture in a video on her YouTube channel, which has more than 2 million subscribers. The video showed the fake furniture, which included knockoff versions of both the Donald Judd La Manzana table and the Donald Judd Chair 84 shown in the Donald Judd Integrated Trade Dress, with Miss Kardashian telling the furniture people watching that she had purchased authentic Donald Judd tables. According to the court documents, Kim Kardashian was well aware that the furniture featured in the Kardashian video is fake. Additionally, according to the Judd Foundation, she purposefully misled her fans into thinking that she was associated with or endorsed by Donald Judd, whose artwork has been shown in galleries such as the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. and the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Prior to bringing the suit, the Judd Foundation claims in the lawsuit that it had communication with Kim Kardashian and Clements Design for several months. The group believed that since neither party had attempted to correct the misstatements, recycle the fake furniture, or remove the false statement from the YouTube video, it was left with little option but to pursue legal action. Tell us in the comments what you think about Kim Kardashian being sued for showing fake furniture and claiming it's authentic. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on what's happening with your favorite stars.